Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite fell on Wednesday as investors shifted away from high-flying technology stocks towards more rate-sensitive sectors. The broad S&P 500 dropped 1.39%, while the tech-heavy Nasdaq declined 2.77%, marking its worst session since December 2022 and its first close below 18,000 since July 1. In contrast, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 243.6 points, or 0.59%, achieving its first ever close above 41,000. A roughly 4.5% increase in United Health, driven by a Wall Street upgrade following strong earnings, helped boost the 30 stock index. This builds on Tuesday's rally of over 700 points, the blue chips index's best day in more than a year. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq were weighed down by a continued decline in mega cap technology stocks, a shift from their significant gains earlier this year, fueled by the artificial intelligence boom. Notably, Wednesday's session was the first since 2001, where the Nasdaq posted a loss exceeding 2.5%, while the Dow recorded a gain. Within the S&P 500, the information technology and, t- and communication services sectors was the worst performers. Meta platforms fell 5.7%, while Netflix and Microsoft each declined more than 1% and Apple slid. Semiconductor stocks also struggled following a Bloomberg News report that that the Biden administration might impose stricter trade restrictions if companies continue providing China with access to US-made technology. The VanEck Semiconductor ETF dropped over 7%, its worst day since March 2020, with NVIDIA and US-listed shares of Taiwan Semiconductor falling more than 6% and nearly 8% respectively. The Russell 2000 slipped 1%, ending a five-day winning streak, though it has climbed over 9% in the past five trading days as the market rally broadened. In contrast, the Nasdaq has lost more than 3% during the same period amid the tech sell-off. This rotation reflects traders' growing optimism about interest rate cuts, which are expected to benefit small caps and companies with higher financing costs. According to the CME FedWatch tool, Fed Funds futures trading suggests a high likelihood that the Federal Reserve will lower rates in September. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a loss of 43 points or 0.54%. Thank you for listening.